Hi everyone, I'm Walt Gray. Here's what's happening. Today, two people are recovering after being shot in South Sacramento. It happened near the Jack in the Box on Elder Creek and Power and Roads. At this time, police have not identified a suspect, but they do say there was no threat to the community. We'll update you on this developing story on air and abc10.com. Guiding Hand School, the El Dorado Hills School for Special Needs Kids, now says they're closing down this Friday. The news comes following a 13-year-old's death at the school. In a statement, the Guiding Hand School says they've notified the state of its decision to retire their certification. They went on to say the decision to surrender our certification is in the best interest of and for the benefit of our students, their parents, and our staff, end quote. Back in November, Max Benson died after being restrained at the Guiding Hand School. Weeks later, certification for the school was revoked, but a judge let Guiding Hands keep its certification while the state investigated. Now the school says they've just decided to close it down. 120 students attend the school from 22 districts across the region. Starbucks is now set to expand its delivery service using Uber Eats after testing it out in Miami. It's kicking off today in San Francisco. It'll be available in cities across the country over the next few weeks. All right, now for your check of your weather forecast. I suspect it's going to be nice. Here's Rob. Hey, thanks, Walt. So this is what we uh, are looking at. You suspect correctly. We've got lots of sunshine ahead today. Look, these days are easy as she goes because we've got high pressure right on top of us. So that means as of now, we've got great air quality, sunshine. Everyone's in a good mood because it's been raining for a long time. And then when it shuts down and you have something different, this is something to look forward to. So today, look for a few high wispy clouds, beautiful for sunset photos, and then temperatures somewhere in the mid 50s for highs. We're always on the lookout for fog just in case. Sometimes it lines up if the winds go totally calm. We've had recent rain, the ground is wet, but I think there's going to be a little overnight breeze each morning for the next at least couple mornings, and that's enough to stir things up to just make the difficult or make the fog have a difficult time forming. So I'm not really thinking it's going to be a big thing for at least the next couple of days. What is going to be nice is the temperatures continue to warm up, and when you hit low to even mid 60s this time of year, you really feel it. So enjoy the next two weeks. It should be sunny, warm, and dry.